Pop today and welcome to Weekend Edition. I'm Crystal Paco, so glad you could join us. Efforts have been made to make the Attorney General's office more accessible and convenient for customers, especially for those taking care of issues at the Child Support Division. Ken Kitsunidza has more. It's something she set out to do when she was first elected back into office. This is an agency that is here to service the public. And so I'm glad that our floors are now open. We're not in a fortress anymore. It's an office located in the ITC building in Tamuning, and one Attorney General of Guam, Elizabeth Barrett Anderson, says is now more accessible for the people. First of all, um, all the floors are now open. You don't have to go to seventh floor to check in and present an I identification card. So you can go to seventh, eighth, and ninth floor. It's all about improving services, whether it's filing a consumer complaint or a government claim or taking care of business at the Child Support Division, one of the AG's most busiest sections. So anyone who wants to come to the Attorney General's office with regard to their child support issues can come fully to the ninth floor. We have a reception area there for them. Um, also, regarding child support, we've opened a hearing uh, room downstairs. And uh, cases, uh, your child support case is now moved from the Superior Court of Guam Judicial Building uh, to the hearings room here uh, to make it more convenient. The hearing room is now located on the second floor of the ITC building. The hearing room is staffed by hearing officers and marshals on duty. She describes it as more of a one-stop service center for child support clients and non-custodial parents. If you do come and, and for some reason your case um, uh, has been continued, then you can just go upstairs to the, to the ninth floor well, what happened to my case? I don't understand it. Uh, also, if you're in, in the hearing and the hearing officer needs some information about your case uh, in terms of payments or, or non-payments, well, then our staff can just go straight down to the hearing room and provide information during the course of your, your hearing. And just as dealing with child support issues can be complicated enough and already stressful, Barrett Anderson hopes it will provide clients with more privacy. We find it very consumer uh, friendly, uh, less intimidating. You're not in a courthouse and um, in some ways more private. Uh, and so far, I think our consumers, our child support uh, uh, customers have said it's um, less intimidating and uh, a lot more uh, amenable. And while the office are no longer a fortress, as she describes, she says they will not compromise safety either. And while more services are provided by the AG's office in the ITC building, she does let everyone know that parking should not necessarily be more of a problem, as the AG's office staff developed a fenced-in parking lot just for its staff, freeing up more parking for customers. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza. Don't be alarmed if you see increased military activity in the coming week as Contra y Peligro 2017 kicks off starting March 28th. The Guam National Guard, along with local and federal first responders, will be participating in the two-day exercise, which consists of various chemical and biological training scenarios through the island. Governor DeCalvo comments the exercise is proven to be a valuable tool in assessing the safety and security of the island. The exercise includes heightened emergency response activity across the island, including helicopter flight, sirens, horns, and loud explosions. Residents and visitors can expect a slight increase in traffic on Route 3 in Dededo due to response vehicles utilizing the route. It's the most important day of a student's life, their graduation, and thanks to efforts from department leadership, students may soon receive $30,000 to support their graduation ceremonies. Isa Baza has more. So for the past few years since I've been on board, I've tried to uh, provide some assistance to our graduating classes. We value graduation, we, we prioritize it, and we want to make sure that the kids have a good celebration of that accomplishment. Superintendent John Fernandez said while students typically fundraise, this year the department has identified federal funding that will give six public high schools $5,000 each for their graduation ceremonies. So that'll enable them to either, you know, reserve the venue, whether it's the field house or, or whether it's to, to ensure that they have the equipment needed to, to run a nice ceremony. Uh, whatever they need to use it for, we're, we're trying to accommodate. So um, they were glad to hear that. I heard Teeson High School uh, was, you know, gonna move their graduation from their high school because now they're a bigger class. 
to UOG, but they were still trying to raise the funds. So a lot of them are, are breathing easier in their senior, you know, end of their senior year, which they should be enjoying and celebrating. While Fernandez admits the department has a long list of needs, ranging from facilities to personnel shortages. He said student graduation is a priority. Well, that's typically something we try to do every year. Yeah, I never guarantee it because uh, we're not sure. We'll always have some of you know, those funds available, but I was glad to know that we could put that out of there and, and just you know recognize uh, what we all want for our kids, is, which is graduation, graduation, get their diplomas, be able to take it to college or take it to the workplace. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Issa Baza. Staying with education, the Department of Education pilot pre-K program is currently under review by the Superintendent of Education. The program evaluation could determine whether pre-kindergarten will expand to four additional schools in school year 2018-2019. Here's program consultant Eloise Sanchez. There is a program evaluation, and that's one of the things that's required to kind of look into moving forward in the uh, implementation of the pilot pre-kindergarten pre-kindergarten program, and we're excited to say that Dr. Zeni Natividad, the administrator for the Department of Education, has submitted that evaluation already. Deputy Superintendent Joe Sanchez said an additional evaluation is also required next year. He added DOE has requested over $681,000 in anticipation for the expansion in the department's fiscal year 18 request. The funds would cost additional personnel, equipment, and infrastructure costs. Very well-deserved congratulations go out tonight to the six island public school educators chosen for their excellence in and out of the classroom as semifinalists for the 2017 Teacher of the Year Award. They are Melissa Camacho from Jose Rios Middle School, Monica Cepeda from Ordechal and Pago Elementary School, Melanie Escobar from Weddingale Elementary School, Billy Navaretti from Upi Elementary School, Annalyn Pelagod from Atacal Elementary School, Mabel and Kanko from Tamuning Elementary School. And the group advances to an interview phase from which three finalists will be chosen. The final phase includes classroom observation. The finalist with the most cumulative points moves on to represent Guam at the national level. And now for this month's Good Neighbors segment, featuring a good Samaritan in our community and highlighting his everyday act of selflessness. The Good Neighbor, presented by Title Guarantee. Guam's first, oldest, and most experienced title and escrow company. He may not be the man of steel, but he's close. J.J. Ambrose is proving he has a heart of gold. Dressed in the cape and tights, Ambrose paid a visit to a little boy named after Superman himself. Five-year-old Cal L. had stepped on a stonefish, leaving him bedridden at the hospital for nearly a week. My daughter Juliet came home from school that day and she said, Cal L's in the hospital. Well, why is he in the hospital? He stepped on a fish. What? I, you know, I'm new to this island. Uh, I've never heard of a stonefish and the devastating effect it can have on the human body. It just so happens that I'm into Superman myself and, you know, he's named Cal L after Superman. So I was like, wow, that'd be, it'd be really cool if I could put the costume on and, you know, go to the hospital. I kind of look like Superman. His wife arranged the visit with Cal L's mom and brought cookies for other kids in the pediatric ward too. Oh, there was a lot of kids in the hospital in the pediatric ward that day. So I kind of just did my rounds. I walked around and like we brought a bunch of cookies to hand out to them. So it was really cool. Ambrose's obsession with the Man of Steel has a story of its own. The PXC lightweight contender spent a lot of time training in Thailand where his strength earned him the nickname Superman. Superman has always been like one of my heroes because he has all the power in the world. You know, they put him on the level with God as far as powers go. But he doesn't have the desire to rule the earth. You know, he, he very easily could. He could destroy everything, you know, in comic book fashion, of course. But he chooses not to. He chooses to use his powers for good. And the name stuck, and now he's opened a gym of his own, also themed after his favorite superhero. The gym, located in Timuning, is named Steel Athletics. Steel Athletics was built so that I didn't have to leave island anymore. I don't want to have to go off island for my training camps when I fight in PXC. Uh, my daughter's getting bigger, and I don't want to miss anything. Moving forward in the future, this makes me want to like get a couple of the other fighters that I know and get them some costumes, you know, like Spider-Man, The Flash, all of them. And then we can walk around and do this maybe once a month, you know, at the hospital. It doesn't take a whole lot to make someone's day, just a smile and a wave, you know. Um, people always think like charity is the way, but sometimes just, you know, kindness and taking your time out to see how they're doing, like genuinely asking them, you know, how are you doing today? 
you know, that's huge. I mean, stop and uh, it's like, don't give money, give time. As a recipient for this month's Good Neighbor Award, Title Guarantee will gift $100 to Ambrose's charity of choice. His pick, the Edward M. Calvo Cancer Foundation. Several Island youngsters are getting their due rewards for sharing their vision of the future and taking a shot at streamlining transportation. Several local students were announced as finalists in AK's Dream Car Contest, which they submitted their concepts for how vehicles could look in the years ahead. From the more than 370 submissions, the under-7 division winner was Kazea Chanel. 8 to 11 years old was first place winner was Rio Akawa and the winner for 12 to 15 years old was Jasmine Pangolina and taking on People's Choice Award was KUM kid Channing Barnett. Their submissions now head to Japan where Toyota judges will consider them among other finalists from over 80 countries. Congrats and great job. Stay tuned and next on Weekend Edition we'll rehash some of the big stories of the past week and still to come the Guam Crime Stoppers Report. Keep it here. There are more ways to experience KUAM news than any other source on Guam. Download the KUAM news app for your Apple or Android device for 24-7 news, sports, videos, weather, streaming, KUAM radio, and important news alerts. And stay connected at home with Guam's first app for Apple TV. All available now from the App Store. Do you want to get discounts at local restaurants like Lone Star, CPK, Capricciosa, Delmonico Kitchen and Bar, Manhattan Steakhouse, Tony Roma's, and lots more? What about 25% off on all natural and organic items at Payless Supermarkets daily? It's all part of Guam's largest rewards club, the Calvo's Lifestyle Club. Join today for free as an added benefit to being a Calvo's Insurance customer. Just show your Lifestyle Club card at over 50 of our rewards partners to start saving more. It's just one of the ways Calvo's Insurance helps you live a better lifestyle. Two things come to play when talking about mobile data, price and speed. Let's look at what happens when we compare the competition against it &E's $80 plan. Docomo's $79 plan comes with six gigs. it &E's $80 plan comes with 20. GTA's $80 plan comes with 10 gigs. Better, but you get twice as much at it &E. it &E has the best network and the data to back it up. Get unlimited talk and text and 20 gigabytes for $80 at it &E. Oh, and if you bring your own device, get 40 gigs. If you get nervous about having dental treatment, you're not alone. An estimated 35 million adults experience anxiety or nervousness at the simple thought of visiting the dentist. As your dentist, I strive to make your visit as painless or pain-free as possible. And I frequently tell my patients that in the 21st century, if we can give you medicines to put your tooth asleep or medicines to take an infection or toothache away, we can surely give you something to help relax you and take all fear away. No one ought to sit in a dental chair thinking of bad childhood memories or fearing injections. If you're a dental coward, but you really do want your teeth fixed, don't wait until the pain is killing you. Come in, tell us your fears, and set up an appointment. We have convinced many that dental treatment doesn't need to be scary anymore. For your helpful dental minute, I'm Dr. Kenny Bourgeois of Paradise Smiles. You shall never know all the good a simple smile can do. There's no place on Guam like Chuck E. Cheese's. It's tons of fun with so many games. And parties are a blast, where everyone has fun. Come and party at Chuck E. Cheese's Guam. Call and book your party today. Hot 
everybody, and welcome back to Weekend Edition. This is Rehash, where we recap the big stories of the past week. And a very big story this week was Nick. You covered that? Right. It was the mysterious disappearance of 18-year-old Deandra Borja over in the pocket area of Manila. Uh, family members say that she had a trouble. Uh, she's a troubled person, admitting that you know she had severe depression. Uh, that aside, they're still wondering where could she be when the search effort uh, was carried out, carried out near the Thousand Steps area. And so they've exhausted, at least the rescue officials have exhausted all the efforts in that area. Uh, and that search, as far as we know, it's ongoing. Okay, Isa? As for me, I covered um, there were some issues with injuries for students at the Department of Education this week. So the first incident was at Untala Middle School. A part of the scoreboard at the school gym fell and actually injured two students. They were transported to the hospital. Um, another incident happened at the Teeds and Carnival grounds where students actually after school, was after school hours, attempted to climb a rock wall that's still sitting there at the, at the grounds. One student fell approximately 25 feet and was injured but um, is in stable condition. So the theme here I think um, to recognize is that, you know, some things the department can't control, but it is very quick in responding when these incidents do happen. They do call the police, coordinate with the mayor's office, and so we'll see what they can do to help uh, improve safety at DOE. Okay. Um, well, I spoke about it a little bit last week about the uh, possible appeal for the for the Dave Davis plebiscite case, and um, that they voted they voted on the resolution, senators, uh, to push for the appeal. And Senator Michael Nicholas he raised some concerns, saying that this was a rushed and uninformed uh, job that the, that the legislature did. So he decided to walk out when they were voting. And this week, um, Attorney General of Guam, Elizabeth Barrett Anderson, she uh, said she's still reviewing uh, whether to push forward with the appeal, but she said that it's not going to be an easy task and that she might have to look at other options, such as like going to Congress as well. Okay, myself on Friday I covered a press conference at the Chancery relative to the formation of an Archdiocesan Receivership Committee, or an ARC for short. Uh, basically, it's comprised of three finance professionals. There are Tony Sanford, Rick Duenas, and Art Alagan. Art Alagan, and they're going to be responsible for taking care of of the financial crisis at the Cathedral Basilica. And so the Cathedral Basilica in Aganya is, and in Haganya is the mother church for the Archdiocese of Aganya. And they're really having this financial struggle, what they're calling drowning in debt. Now $1.9 million in the last two and a half years. And coincidentally, uh, this debt incurred, was incurred as uh, Monsignor James Beneventi was removed as the rector there. And so this, this task force has their work ahead of them. They're calling it an awesome task. And since it's, it feels impossible almost, uh, they're hoping to uh, regain the public's trust and also up those collections at the at the masses. Uh, they did note that there was a before the two years ago there was a ten thousand dollar average weekly collection from the Sunday mass at the cathedral. That's down to four grand. Mm -hmm. And so they're in, they need financial help. So that's what this committee is for. And if you have any news tips for any of us here at the KUM News Team, just email us at reporters at KUAM.com. <laughs> Hey, smart spenders, Shell's Buy Food Get Fuel promo is back. And this time, Shell's giving away grocery coupons too. Shell has partnered up with Cost You Less and Island Fresh to help you save. Spend $30 at any Cost You Less or Island Fresh and receive coupons for $5 off of your next $30 fuel purchase at any Shell station or purchase $30 of fuel at Shell and receive a coupon for $5 off any $75 Cost You Less or Island Fresh store purchase. Visit Shell, Cost You Less or Island Fresh today and start stacking on savings. Some conditions apply. See stores for details. Get more during our spring clearance event going on now at Cars Plus and Mighty. Inherit that go anywhere attitude with the legendary rugged Jeep Wrangler 4x4 of the decade. For a limited time only, enjoy savings of $2,500 off. Or go beast mode and save up to $5,000 off Ram trucks voted Guam's best two years in a row. Plus, well qualified buyers can get 0% financing. Get to Cars Plus today for quick and easy financing during our spring clearance event. Cars Plus, driven by you. Your love is like a fireplace, your warm, sweet embrace, I want to see your face again. Your love is like a fireplace, 
Yo, oh, sweetie face, oh, oh, see your face again. Cause I'm caught up in the current of your love. And as you walk along the beach alone, to escape the wild stone, amplified by the musical tune, supplied by the John Dank Show. Oh, oh. Supply by the John Day Show. Rockin' steady. I'm gonna put it on you while you ready. Caught up in the current of your love. For 20 years, Matson has been an important part of our everyday lives. Bringing in the cars we drive, the food we eat, and the materials that helped build our homes. From caring for our land through the Adahi Itanu program to generously supporting our local charity, Matson has contributed to the preservation and growth of our island. On behalf of those you've served throughout your 20 years on Guam, you do a seat, Matson. I just picked up the cake for the baby shower. Yay! You know she's having a boy, right? Oh boy. Buick now has an SUV for that. Introducing the new Buick Encore. I knew I could trust you guys with the cake. No problem. <laughs> that was close. <sighs> One of three luxury SUVs from the new Buick. Get 16% below MSRP on select 2017 Buick SUVs in stock. That's over 4,400 on this Encore. Visit Autospot Buick today. On Thursday, March 16, officers from the Haganya Precinct Command entertained a burglary complaint that occurred at the St. Francis Catholic Church office in Zotnia. Now, according to the police report, the main office was secured on Wednesday night at around 8.15 in the evening, in which the office was left secured and unattended. Video footage obtained from the scene indicated that at about 3.15 Thursday morning, a male individual described as possibly local, wearing a tank top and cargo shorts with a t-shirt concealing his face, was seen rummaging through the office using a flashlight. Video footage also indicated that the male suspect also has tattoos to his right triceps and bicep area to include tattoos to his left shoulder and tricep area. It was also noted that the main entrance door was damaged, which may have indicated that that was the possible point of entry and exit. Now, the Guam Police Department and the Guam Crime Stoppers needs the community's help in reference to this burglary. If you have any information about this crime or any other crime, please call Guam Crime Stoppers at 477-HELP. That's 477-4357. You can also send a text to 486-HELP. That's 486-4357. You can also submit information of a crime through our webpage at guam.crimestoppersweb.com. Or call the Guam Police Department at 475-8615-6 or 7. Guam Crime Stoppers wants to remind the public that we do not use caller ID and you do not have to leave your name. You can receive a cash reward of up to $1,000 if the information provided leads to the arrest and conviction for the person or persons responsible for this crime or any other crime. These used cars are Nissan certified. And let me show you why I stand behind every used car that we sell. First, our certified technicians inspect every used car to make sure it's safe, reliable, and mechanically sound. Then any scratches and dings are given first-class treatment at our body shop. And after thorough detailing inside and out, the car is ready for sale. At a price that's always below Bluebird, that makes Nissan used cars your best buy. Why is tourism Guam's number one industry? Tourism benefits our economy. Visitors come to our shores to experience our island. More tourist spending means more dollars flowing into our economy. Tourism creates jobs. From bell service to front desk to tour agents, more jobs mean more opportunities. Tourism builds businesses. From hotels to shops to restaurants, more businesses mean more dreams come true. Tourism preserves our culture. In the visitor industry, culture takes center stage. Celebrating our culture means keeping our traditions alive. Tourism keeps our land and waters clean. It all adds up. Tourism improves our quality of life. It helps make Guam a better place to live, work, and visit. Tourism works for Guam. 
get more during our spring clearance event going on now at Cars Plus and Mighty. Now's a great time to meet the award-winning Hyundai lineup, all backed by Guam's best warranty. 10 years, 100,000 miles. Like the fuel-efficient 2017 Hyundai Accent starting at the unbeatable price of $12,995. Or the redesigned 2017 Hyundai Elantra starting at just $16,995. How about the well-equipped 2017 Hyundai Tucson starting at $21,995? Get to Cars Plus today for quick and easy financing during our spring clearance event. Cars Plus, driven by you. Guam's Auto Appearance Specialist, Elegant Reflections, has been providing the automotive industry with professional detailing and car care products at its highest quality from complete detailing, full interior detailing, exterior detailing, headlamp restoration, hand washing, seat and carpet shampoo, engine degreasing, undercarriage cleaning, paint sealant, fabric protection, paint oxidation removal, and so much more. Visit us at our new location. Call 646-5555 for an appointment. Elegant Reflections, Guam's Auto Appearance Specialist, over 20 years of experience. Hey, smart spenders, Shell's Buy Food Get Fuel promo is back. And this time, Shell's giving away grocery coupons too. Shell has partnered up with Costulus and Island Fresh to help you save. Spend $30 at any Costulus or Island Fresh and receive coupons for $5 off of your next $30 fuel purchase at any Shell station or purchase $30 of fuel at Shell and receive a coupon for $5 off any $75 Costulus or Island Fresh store purchase. Visit Shell, Costulus, or Island Fresh today and start stacking on savings. Some conditions apply. See stores for details. Attention drivers, Triple J Auto Group has a shipload of vehicles on the way and need to make room. Now is your chance to get absolute year-end pricing during Triple J shipload sale. That's right, year-end closing pricing on the latest 2017 models and all remaining 2016. New cars as low as $86 per paycheck and used cars as low as $68 per paycheck during our shipload sale. See PD and print ad for details or visit us online at triplejguam.com and get pre-approved instantly. Trade-ins welcome. Triple J Auto Group, customers first. There is still time to register for the United Airlines Guam Marathon, and when you do, you'll be able to take advantage of the Eat, Shop, and Run program. In our next story, Sabrina Salas Matanani introduces you to another marathon ambassador. When it comes to swimming, Manami Ijima has broken multiple records and has a shelf full of hardware. She's since retired from the sport, but is making a big splash in another one. I started running in 2013, so I've been running for almost three and a half years. Um, I was actually about 30 pounds heavier and I wanted to just get healthy and get back on track. and. That started my running career. I was a swimmer from about three years old and I quit or I retired from swimming and that's why I was competitive and that's why from stopping swimming, that's how I gained all the weight and I wanted to find another sport. Manami says it was her mother that sparked her interest. My mom was running, she was doing the 5Ks weekly and she was just like, hey, you should come. And I, I joined her and I lost to a bunch of fitter girls than me and I'm competitive. So I just wanted to be better and that got me loving running. And she never looked back. Participating in several local races and triathlons in 2016, she was first female overall in the Koku Road Race 10K and first female overall for Tour of Guam 105 kilometer cycling event. The most memorable event was Guam International Marathon 2016 because I had a pretty good race. I paced myself, I was relaxed, I was just enjoying it and in the end I came in first female overall, second year in a row and it was just really fun with all the cheering and all the awesome food afterwards. Her enthusiasm and passion for the sport is something she hopes others will share. Ben Ferguson emailed me if I was interested in becoming an ambassador and of course because I love the event it's such a there's so many people cheering you on. There's an after party, there's a barbecue on the beach, and I was just ecstatic. I wanted to promote running on Guam because I love it and I think running reunites the community. The 24 year old Tamuning resident and accounting major offers the following advice for those who plan to lace up for the United Airlines Guam Marathon. I train on a daily 
daily basis, um, I have easy days, hard days, and medium days. So on easy days, I really take it easy because the goal is to recover. It's like an active recovery. And on the hard days, I, I push as hard as I can to be fitter than I was yesterday. And the advice I can give is pace yourself. Don't do too much too soon. Um, I started off doing too much too soon and I got injured and I was off running and on running and I didn't really get faster until I started training smart, which is taking easy days easy and training hard on hard days. As for nutrition, well, I try to eat unprocessed food, but I, I, I have a sweet tooth. So I treat myself um, every other day, <laughs> every other day. Um, not too much, just in moderation. I think keeping everything in moderation is the key to eating healthy. There's still time for you to register for the United Airlines Guam Marathon. You can either compete in the 5K, 10K, half or full. When you do register, you'll be able to take advantage of the Eat Shop Run program, which provides shopping incentives for runners. For more information, go to unitedguammarathon.com. And before we close out the news tonight, here's our latest round of birthday shout-outs from the Cold Stone Creamery Birthday Club. Celebrating this weekend, happy birthday to you, Elijah Joel Chargloff. To our Prince, Prince Charming, we love you from the family. Happy birthday, Theo Manley. And to you, Saul A. Sablon, coming from the Mac Shot family. And happy birthday to our very own Joseph Daniel Hernandez, better known as J.D. Remember, you can be a part of the Cold Stone Creamery Birthday Club by registering online on KUAM.com. Please make sure to include with your photo, your name, and your birth date. And that's all the time we have from all of us here at Guam's News Network. Thanks for watching and have a safe weekend. Close caption.